we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun And it just started raining and beyond that is USA. I am on the Canadian side and in today's video I'm gonna show you all about Niagara Falls, what I how I came here, what I did. Just another Niagara Falls video, but trust me you're gonna have fun, so stick around. So we drove from Toronto to Niagara Falls, which was about a one and a half hour. So we found parking near the powerhouse station. Uh, it's ten dollars per hour or thirty dollars max. Um, I don't know how much we are gonna get charged, but this is the parking we found, which is nearest to the falls. It is a little expensive, but there are plenty of parking spaces over here. You can take a few things to get here. During summers, go trains run from Union Station to Niagara. Sleep. Hear the cricket, see the moon. In Toronto, you just cannot miss a day trip to Niagara Falls. It's just one and a half hours from there by driving, and there are plenty of bus services that can drop you here as well. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. This is majestic, this is beautiful, and okay, I am amazed. I have never seen something like this before. what connects Canada to USA so that side is USA and that little boat coming towards us is the uh, boat the cruise tour from USA this is the Canadian one and I don't know if I'm gonna do it you look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like you're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes girl I can tell that you have something on your mind I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow So if you see those people in yellow, that's the falls uh, Journey behind the falls, this one and then there's one more over there But yes, that's where we'll, we'll be going Just going into Tim Hortons to get some coffee Because we are very cold, like I'm all drenched my jumper, my jeans, it's all gone. So yes, it's time to warm up a little bit. I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. Pretty big guy. So I am inside the Niagara Powerhouse. This is where they uh, produce hydroelectricity and it is stunning. This is an old building but you can see the architecture and it looks really nice. It's all heated so if you feel cold you come inside and also uh, there are two different things over here. One is called the tunnel and one is called journey behind the falls. The tunnel is a viewing platform next to the falls and journey behind the falls is you go behind the waterfalls. So let's see which one is better. I might do both but let's see. 
So if you want to do a journey behind the falls, you need to go to Table Rock Center and there's a different entrance for this activity. The tunnel is a totally different entrance, so make sure you come to the right place. All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, that's your problem That's your three tickets, you can go through the door and down, uh, okay. down the stairs Okay, and ponchos are also included? Yes. Okay, perfect, thank you! Thank you! So, Journey Behind the Falls is... How much? $25, $25 per person but we also saw something that's called um, an adventure pass I'll put a screenshot in, uh, over here and in that you can have like discounted tickets to different things Standing in queue for Journey Behind the Falls but uh, we also want to do multiple things however we are short in time everything closes here, all activities close here by uh, 4.30 or 5 and if you're coming here, make sure you have enough time to do all these things or you're staying over. Hi everyone, welcome to Journey Behind the Falls. We're currently descending 125 feet down into the tunnels. First tunnel to the right will lead you to the portals where you can see the falls falling in front of you. The other tunnel will lead you to the lower observation deck. We're standing right beside the falls. So once we exit the elevators, I'll hand you a poncho. Once you get the poncho, just make your way down towards the tunnels. because you get these ponchos for free and then you go and see the Niagara Falls because the mist makes you all drenched in water it's like rain, massive, like heavy rain uh, so if you have got the ponchos already you won't get wet like I did 
So do the walk first, get your ponchos, and then use these ponchos to see the the, the waterfall. Uh, and come here early in the morning so that you have got enough time to do the other activities around here. One is journey behind the falls. The other is tunnel. There's a white water walk. There's the boat cruise there's a lot of stuff to do here so make sure you have got enough time and this was such a nice day i loved it i loved it and let me show you the end i have got a perfect ending to my day was another same Niagara Falls vlog but we had a lot of fun didn't we um, heading back and if you are here you can like I would say that you should stay over and see the Niagara Falls lit up and the fireworks at night and do the other activities over here the next day I feel the, uh, the multi-day pass is a good value for money and uh, you should go for it and what else have fun and I'll see you in my next video bye